Hello everybody, uh, this is a special event because I have someone else joining me today. Hi! Introduce yourself. I am uh, the Daily Moogle's wife, I guess you can call me Mrs. Moogle, and I have no idea what's going on, but I'm being all supportive and shit. There you go. Okay, so I'll try to get you caught up, I guess, as we go, because I'm, I'm very busy, there's like a crisis going on right now. Um, first of all, I want to go... Game crisis. Yeah. So, we're in a castle right now, and, well, this is our party. Uh, there's somebody called Downey who used to be in our party who got kidnapped somehow by is a vampire. A cat ninja? A cat ninja? The, the Fiero looks like a cat ninja. The ears? It looks like a cat. Basically. I don't know. I don't really know what he is, but yeah, he's a ninja person. Well, what type of ninja is a very important question. I don't know. <laughs> Use your imagination. So we're gonna go all the way over here because we uh, killed all the enemies in this place, and when you do that, it's empty. it is empty. So there's really not going on anything going on right now. But there's a special place where you can pick up some extra treasure for doing that. Called the Hall of Treasures. So there you go. You get some bonus experience. And then you get like one good item. Or in this case you get three of the same thing. A garlic necklace? Yep. So I said Downey got kidnapped by a vampire so um, here's all the equipment that you can use so that's an accessory that it says it reduces the effect of vampire bites. So we'll probably be using those in a second. Vampire sparkle. No, it's not a Twilight kind of vampire. Thank God. <laughs> it's a real vampire. All Whoops. Okay, so there's a little bit of backtracking we got to do. We're going to head back upstairs. Hopefully this is the right way. Yep. Oh, we gotta go down and then to the right. There's like a whole network of crap down here. This is like the basement of the castle. There we go. And uh, the only area we haven't explored yet is over here to the left. So another thing in the game is, like in all the corners, there's stuff that you can pick up. So like, every single floor, every single room, you gotta like look around for stuff. And it's like stuff that you can use to heal yourself, or a lot of it is just like loot for selling, which I don't think I've actually sold anything that I've gotten so far, so I could probably be like rich right now and I don't even know it. Wouldn't it be nice if in real life there was just stuff we could use lying all over the floors of random places we enter? <laughs> yep. Found a quarter under the couch one time, that's probably like the best it's gonna get. So the smoke, when you walk into that, is when you have to fight people. I'm going to cheat on this one and use Shockwave, because cause of that. So, kind of makes quick work of them. That's cheating. Yeah. I'm just lazy. I can attest to that. Thank you. And yeah, all the treasure chests up here are also, like, mimics. Which is a very common enemy if you have played any type of RPG before, pretty much. There's always, like, fake treasure chests that attack you for some reason. Were those in Final Fantasy, what was it, 9 that you made me play? 10. 10. Probably. <clears throat> One of those numbers. We picked up a weapon there, which is for Noah. Noah is, like, the sword user. So, uh... It's a sword that glitters with intense sunlight, so the vampire doesn't glitter, but apparently his sword does. So, there you Something go. Something glitters. And then over here, this little magic ball means you're gonna learn a skill. So, Josephine just learned Holy, which deals holy damage to one enemy. Now we, now we know. Um, so we gotta kill this guy. This is the very last enemy in this whole place. And I made fun of these before because <laughs> it's a haunted sheet. Right. 
very scary stuff. But at least now you get to see everybody else do something. I mean, to be fair, if a sheet was attacking me, it'd be kind of scary. It's a little cliche, but if it actually happened, it'd probably freak you out. I suppose. But what's it gonna do? Like, I guess it could suffocate me, but... <laughs> Th that's terrifying. Do you I guess that's one. I guess that's one way to die. And then here's the other Hall of Treasures. In this place, there's more than one because there is multiple floors. So, and then we get a Night Ring, which I'm gonna actually put on Josephine just because I can. It raises attack by 50, so that's a pretty good jump. Yeah, well, girls make good knights. <laughs> and then, uh, let's put the garlic necklace on everybody else. Because it's finally time to go take on the boss. Yes. Is he the only vampire? Uh, yeah. It's kind of well, sad. it's a she. It's only. Her name is Elvira. I mean, even Dracula had, you know, what, his wives? Well, she wants to make Downey her, his, her uh, husband. Oh. That's actually what's going on right now. There's a ceremony that we have to stop. Ah. Huh. And if we don't stop it, he'll become a vampire forever. So when you use a tent, it... Did you ever ask him what he wanted? Maybe he wants to live forever. Well, he's, like, under a spell or something. Like, he... Yeah, that's the point. Like, he's all into it, but he's, like, under a spell or something. So we're trying to save him. Um, so I think I'm ready to go. Let's go ahead and get it over with. We get a little cutscene beforehand. There they are, Downey's on the left. What were you thinking?! You know, there was family members of yours that I don't remember inviting to ours. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not that unusual. I bet there's somebody at every wedding that says that at least once <laughs> to somebody. So yeah, naturally, uh, we're going to have to fight the two of them. I think we all saw this coming. Bitches get between friends. Yeah, bros before hoes. Um, so, the only thing about this fight is you have to kill Downey first, otherwise, uh, basically Elvira will just live forever, like, he'll keep healing her or something like that. Um, so he's pretty easy, uh, she'll take a little bit longer, but overall the fight is very easy, they don't really have any nasty attacks, especially if you use the garlic necklaces that we found. Like, that's basically all they do, so... By, by killing him. Makes perfect sense. Well, there were cutscenes before now that you missed, but <laughs> apparently we've determined that's the only way to break the curse or whatever is to... To kill him. To almost kill him, and then, I don't know. Oh, so you're almost going to kill him, not actually going to kill him. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Um, oh, you know what? I am going to cheat in this battle, too, and use Flare, because I haven't shown this off yet. Um, this is, like, easily the most powerful attack I have. By, like, a mile. Yes. Flare is another very, like, common spell that you always have in these kinds of games, and it's always, like, one of the best ones. Fire kills things well, yes. Yep. <clears throat> so yeah, there you go. Well, no, the, the spell that you just saw that did a ton of damage, that oh. was Flare. Apparently you missed it. <laughs> but you might have noticed it did over quadruple nines. Um, I think on every other attack in the game there's like that typical damage limit. But, uh, that spell does its own thing. So that took a pretty good chunk off of both of them. And from here we're just going to continue to hammer them with stuff. Until they both die. So any other questions so far? <laughs> no. 
Oh, there he goes. Too bad. Yeah. So yeah. if I was under that kind of spell, would, would you kill me to save me? I'm not really sure. That's not really a fair question. <laughs> I would find another way. But in the video game, you don't have time for this shit. <laughs> well, the whole point is we're, I mean, we're trying to kill her, the vampire lady. So, basically what it was is, like, because they were getting married, they were invincible. Because, like, the, the fact that she's married makes her invincible or something like that. So we had to get rid of the husband. Life. Yep. <laughs> Lifelike. <laughs> you said that backwards. So yeah, vampirism. And then she has another version of that move where it just attacks everybody at once. But that's it. Like, this is... This is all the action you're going to see. It's actually a pretty boring, straightforward battle, so... It's interesting that, like, the little characters, at least have the movement when they do their moves, but she just kind of wiggles back and forth on the screen. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Why not? Why not heal? Yeah, this was made with RPG Maker. It's uh, like software that lets you make games this way. There's a way, like you can do a lot of stuff with it, like modify it, but most of the games that are made with it, like that's just how the enemies are. <laughs> the enemy is just like a picture basically, and then your party actually has more animations and stuff. Was that how your game was? Cause uh, I don't know. Yeah. So this is a very sad part now because yeah, Downey does actually die. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, I feel the emotion there. Sob. I know. I like how the vampire like disappears though, and somehow he's like still there. Like where did she go, I wonder? Oh, if she's been dead for a long time, maybe she She just withered away into dust. That's right. We're all just dust in the wind. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, Downey and Jean are the two characters that like kind of really pick on each other the whole time. So now they're, you know, making up in his last moments. It's adorable. So part of the plot of the game is we're supposed to be trying to save these three orbs, which like control different things about people. So she was using... Well, okay, so... It, yeah, Lynette is like another character earlier in the game that actually died also. <laughs> so we're doing a good job with this. Everybody around us is dying. Um, But she wanted to be self-dependent. So, like, her whole story basically was related to the Orb of Life. And then uh, Ruby is another character that died in wanted bravery, so they were involved with the Orb of Courage. So basically don't steal a and die? I guess. <laughs> and then, yeah, Downey is kind of like... He's not stupid, but he's like the immature one or something. So he wanted wisdom, so that's why... You can use that. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I knew that was coming. So basically the vampire was using this Orb of Wisdom and she needed Downey to activate its full power or whatever because, you know, he was lacking wisdom, basically. Right. Whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so... That's what's going on right now. He's taking a long time to die. I know. Oh, and then he says, uh, the Orb of Wisdom has revealed... Basically, like, Noah has a secret. Or there's a secret about Noah. Like, he's not aware of it at this point. But we don't know what the secret is. So he says the orb revealed it to him somehow. And uh, next we have to go inside Eden Tower. Someone is waiting for Noah there. 
Excuse me. So basically, that's where we're headed next, eventually. Everybody you've tried to save so far has died. Pretty much. Oh. We're supposed to save the orbs, too, and those get destroyed at the same time. So, so like... You're winning so far. We're doing really good. And then for Downey dying, we do get another accessory, which is pretty good. We have no time to lose Ooh, the castle. Get treasure from the dead guy. Yeah. Well, that's actually part of. Uh, I don't know if it was inspired by Final Fantasy IX, but there's a part where uh, it's not one of the main characters, but like her, her Moogle, her pet dies. <laughs> I don't know if you know what a Moogle is. Other than you. I'll show you a picture. But um. Basically, it's her pet. Her pet dies, and then you get an item from that. That's really good. Oh, so the, the, so I don't know if, the if, dead people that you're trying to save are kind of like the dead pet. Yeah. Well, no, just that, like, you know, you got an item in the same way. So I don't know if that was sort of inspired by that. So we make it out of the castle, and now we're back. We've seen this lady before. She actually rescued us once already. We've been sleeping for several days. Yeah, we're back here with this old lady. She's a very nice old lady if she saved her ass twice. Yep. And her dog's name is Turbo. That's a odd name. Yeah. <clears throat> we didn't find any of the village members during our trip. So yeah, the village that she lives in is totally empty. That's depressing. Yeah. And basically she didn't know what happened to everybody, so we, while we were trying to rescue our friend, we were hoping to find them like at the same time. Hmm. So yeah, the Orb of Wisdom and the castle was destroyed. Everything's destroyed. So basically everything we set out to do, we did not do. So we're, we're a big Surprise, failure. <laughs> I guess the village is doomed to rest in silence for eternity. Gradually, the knowledge we try to preserve will be carried with the wind and become history. At least she's being very stoic about it. <laughs> well, that's that. I guess. <clears throat> yep, and we lost Downey. Once you return the gate at the Temple of Climants, hopefully Cl I say... Climants. Climants. Okay, there you go. Good job. I'm glad you knew how to say that. English. It only opens when someone needs to go in and pray to overcome something in their life. And it didn't open until we came back. So, what a coincidence. Sounds like we should go there, too. Let's get out of bed already. So what are we planning to do? Yeah, let's go to the temple. And basically, since we lost Downey, uh, Josephine will become our fourth permanent party member. Is she a vampire hunter? Yeah. Oh. So she just said, like, since the vampire I was hunting all my life is dead, I guess I'm... <laughs> oh. I don't know what to do anymore, so I'll just come with you. Alright, so finally we regain control of our people. And... Um, the palace is east of here, okay. So, we have a couple of things that we know we need to do next. Um, well, first we gotta go to that temple anyway. Uh, but before we advance the plot, I would like to take a break. I mean, this is pretty sad right now, so we need to, like, do something to lighten our mood. We're gonna go turtle hunting. Yup. <laughs> That's awesome. I do love turtles. Yep. Turtles are your favorite. Um, He's not joking about that. <laughs> so where the heck is that place? But we do want to come back here eventually, even if we don't do it now, because we learned a new ability, which... If you remember, there's a couple of caves that we couldn't get into before because they were too dark. Well, now we have, like, night vision goggles or whatever they were that... Now we can go into those areas. 
Okay, I I'm actually lost. Where is it? Should be right over here, to the left. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Alright, here we are. So where do we leave off? We found 65% of them. And, yeah, we have zero cave turtles, because, like I said, we haven't been able to go in there yet. Uh, we'll be able to find all 15 of those very easily. Um, also inside the caves, there's going to be a couple of the stealth turtles. Uh, Those turtles called moist turtles. What are moist turtles? Yeah. <laughs> That's a very disgusting, like, uh, <laughs> sounding turtle. The moist turtles are the ones that are... There's boulders that you can push. Basically, they only appear while it's raining, and you have to push the, the rock out of the way. So, like, they hide under the rock in the rain. So, like, it's like rotting under the wet rock. Yep. That, that's the image it evokes for the name. <laughs> Apparently I have five leaves, more of those. Yeah. The dead leaf turtle. Awesome. Dead leaf turtle, sure. <laughs> and then two more moon ones, but, um... At this point, we have all the abilities we need to find all of the turtles, so... Um... I struggled a little bit to find the last few of them, just because, like, you find most of them, and then you're just stuck, like, wandering around, like, where the hell are the other three that I didn't find, kind of a thing, because, like, I didn't really check off where I found each one, so I had to go searching a little bit, but, um, since we're kind of up there on the length of the video, I'm gonna save right here, and then, uh, I'll put the turtle hunting in another video, so thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye!